This is going to be a quick walkthrough of the 2D constant velocity lab uh, that we used in honors physics. Okay, so we have a puck, and the puck slides diagonally. This is two-dimensional motion. Um, it is moving horizontally while it is moving vertically. If we look at the tools we have, we have a grid, um, and we are told that um, the grid didn't preview this on any of videos. Just cut. So we have the grid and we have stopwatch. Oh, it says right here the grid spacing is five centimeters. So it's five centimeters horizontal, five centimeters vertical in this square. So let's look at the instructions. Select a trial. There are ten trials. We're just going to use one. Uh, use a trial. Don't worry about uh, the using a different trial. Let's just use trial one. Write which one you select. So you're going to write one because you're going to use trial one. Use the tools available to find the x and the y components of the velocity. Show your work below. So you're going to use that velocity is equal to distance over time, uh, and you're going to find the x component of the velocity by multiplying, I mean dividing the x component of the distance by time, and you're going to find the y component uh, by dividing the y component of the velocity. By a time. And that should be a good sign there. Okay, so um, you're going to set, I'm going to move this back, set it where the little red dot's in the corner, reset your time to zero, let it run for a certain amount of time, and you, can do, you don't have to do the x and the y components at the same time, you can do them separately. So I'm going to let it go from zero, I'm going to do the x first, I'm going to let it go. Uh, you can let it go as far as you want, but I'm going to do it to right here because it has gone three blocks, one, two, three, horizontally, and if they're 15 centimeters apiece, actually I'm going to let it go further because the farther it goes, the less our error is. So I'm going to let it go all the way to here. And so it has gone, did I reset my time? I don't know. Let's pull it back here, reset the time to zero, let it go all the way to this vertical bar, and it will have traveled 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 centimeters horizontally in that amount of time. And so I will calculate my x component. Then I will pull it back to the beginning, and I'm going to let it travel a certain vertical distance. I'm going to let it travel to here, because then it will have traveled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks vertically. So again, 25 centimeters, but in a different amount of time. And I can calculate my y component of my velocity doing that. So show your work, find your x and the y components of your velocity. Add these components and convert to vector, uh, convert the vector to angle magnitude form. For this, you have the x component and the y component. You're going to have to use the Pythagorean, you like PHH here. These are my notes to you, these are not what you should write. Use the Pythagorean theorem to find the, the velocity, then inverse tangent to find the angle. Because it wants the angle magnitude form, that means give it the angle and the magnitude of the velocity at that diagonal. Okay, so you may have to go back and, and uh, review your trig if, you're, if this has been a while since we've done it. So. Uh, that's how you found, find the angle magnitude form. Use the magnitude and velocity you calculated to predict how long in seconds it will take the puck to travel 50 centimeters. So if uh, velocity is equal to distance over time, then time must be equal to distance divided by velocity. Uh, you are looking for your time, the distance is 50 centimeters, and the magnitude that you find in number three is the velocity that you use for that prediction. Lock that, move on to the next part. Um, checking your prediction. So use the same trial that you used before. Um, pull up our grid. Um, we've got a protractor if we need it. And so we put that right on top. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move it forward just to until it starts to move. There we go. So there's my grid, and there's my retractor. So I can measure, let it run, and I can measure the angle of its velocity. 
the angle of the horizontal, this angle, and it says, um, let's see, we can let it go, oh, it's 50 centimeters from here to here, from the center of this curve to the uh, protractor edge, and so if you let this thing run, and I don't, I, I'm not, I don't, don't want to show you the time because I want you to do it. Um, but if you let it run from that origin point all the way out to where it hits the curve of the protractor, it will have gone 50 centimeters because the distance from the center of that circle to the edge of the circle is 50 centimeters as marked here. So um, you have predicted the time it would take to go 50 centimeters, time it, and check your angle. Uh, use the protractors to measure the actual angle, use the stopwatch to measure the actual time, put those answers here, compare the predictions, the predictions again do a percent difference, calculation here to show numerically how, how different they are, compare the angle uh, again, so this is comparing the, the speed part and this is compare the angle which is another percent difference calculation. And uh, do not do, don't do this part. If you do the rest of the lab, uh, if, even if you don't do stuff right, if you complete the rest of the lab, I will give you the points for this part. Um, it, when it comes to scoring, I will give you the five points for this last part. But you do not have to do number four. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.